All right, so it's Thursday morning. It's nice and breezy. Unlike yesterday and the day before, it was like 100 degrees. I was just beat. So as you can see, a lot of activities yesterday, I didn't really feel much and I couldn't find this camera. But first thing in the morning, yesterday I installed the clutch and this is what the clutch looks like. It was in the car for over 110,000 miles since uh, 2010. So it seemed like six, seven winters at least. And I'm surprised it actually survived, especially the throttle bearing. So <clears throat> this is the car that I did the um, M7960 turbo install and it just started slipping on the dyno on the first pull. So it was about to go anyway. So I was just beat. I was, I changed my shirt like two, three times and it was soaked in sweat. It was disgusting. I was blowing fans, still didn't work. But anyhow, I made some mess for this car. So I'm still trying to make it out to the event this um, Saturday at least. Friday, I don't think it's gonna do it. But again, I couldn't film much. And right now it looks like kind of crap because it's only tech weld and obviously just raw uh, metal. But as you can see, I, I made some cushions. This is like a exhaust hanger, but I put it on each side on like facing other way. Stock actually sits on top of one of those cushions. So it is not going anywhere. It's nice and very solid. I has gotta probably uh, end up connecting one more here, but I'm gonna do it once everything's out because right now it's not going anywhere and positioned. So, as far as the uh, radiator goes, it's rock solid. I ended up welding everything together. I'll actually get the better shot later. But anyhow, I'll probably make some brackets, weld it over here. But right now, first things first, I really want to tune the car today. Because that's, like, I'll find out, because I haven't registered the uh, event yet. And for sure, Saturday, I'll be able to make it if I could tune it today and get it done. I don't think it's going to be an issue, uh, tuning part, as long as the, the car is actually working like it should. Okay, so this um, pipe is finally all mocked up. Wasn't trying to take time to make it pretty, but, you know, it looks alright. I need a, we need a map sensor and all that on this side, so it's just more a pain. And again, this is budget build, so I'm not even using the, like I'm not using like vibrant fittings or whatever, though it's like five bucks. And just literally tapping into, I've just welded around this uh, little thick aluminum piece here and just literally tapping it to this, which works. We've done that before many times. And this is just hard angle, oops. Uh, I'm just tired, literally a little slow on the response. Other than that, that pipe, it's really bothering me, but I'm, I don't have time to just really uh, do anything else but tuning the car today. I just kind of patch up over here because I saw a crack and there's a little pinhole from probably like polishing it and whatnot over time just kind of cracked. So it will definitely have a boost leak, which I don't want. I was supposed to tap into one of these uh, fittings over there, but I'm not going to even bother. I'll just source it from here. Uh, everything's bled. Coolant is actually all filled up, um, and bubbles all pulled out. It was a little bit leaking from there, and I just fixed it. And other than that, no leaks. Return line had uh, some leak uh, earlier today. Uh, fixed it, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste no time. It's probably like 5:30, almost 6 o'clock. I was gonna actually have the car on the dyno by three, but just kind of delayed and I had to run out get some more argon gas and everything but uh, it's getting there all right so I've been tuning for a bit um, there's a little weird sound coming it sounds like something's rubbing against but I just can't seem to find out what it is so I just kept on going anyway uh, I don't have much time I just want to get this tuned down with today so that I could just figure out whatever uh, there's a little drip from there I don't I was actually kind of worried about the AC compressor being still there because uh, that thing blew up uh, on Sandy because uh, I wasn't using the AC. But um, hopefully uh, the trick that I did um, is working but so far it's making good power 
good power bend and everything. I'm just uh, kind of scared to actually that it's making actually that much power. Right now, it's making about 19 plus pounds. I um, hooked up the meth kit temporarily, just uh, basically just plus minus, positive and negative, just to make it to work for now. Uh, it's working and actually kind of leaking out from the the boost sensor that I um, installed so I just had to kind of seal it up um, I think the o-rings kind of ripped um, just testing it back and forth not a big deal I think um, just uh, let me just do another pass because I want to see what's going on here uh, you see some smoke coming out it's um, I'm assuming it's an external wastegate but just me being here by myself it's kind of hard to tell so let's see I love this number. This is what I'm looking for. A nice and solid. You, you're probably not that impressive with the uh, number here, but look at the freaking graph right here. Wave flutter torque. I could probably make no more power, but look at the torque. That's the uh, beauty of external wastegate. Kind of dies down more than I wanted to, but mid to uh, top range. There's a power for sure. It sounds mean as F. So, air fuel ratio is nice and plenty of rich. Love it. Um, is it safe? I don't know. Because this is already like about 320, probably on the Dynojet. But that's exactly what I'm looking for. Almost the same uh, horsepower and torque, just linear curve. So I'm gonna have all the power, any RPM, I literally just get on it, I'll have the power. So, yeah. Not bad for just stock turbo and modified whiskey. Sounds mean too. My foam ran out of storage, um, but um, yeah, found the leak, fixed it, and uh, this is literally the graph I wanted. Nice and straight gray uh, graphs, um, first, second, third, and fourth. Look at the boost line; it's like nice and um, consistent. Torque is right there all times. The horsepower doesn't die down at the top. <clears throat> I actually limited the RPM at 6600 so that I could just go up, 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 you know what I'm saying? So the shifting was a little bit short. Uh, it's making about 105 MPH, so the power is there for sure. Not the best power, but again, I want something very reliable. I could beat on the, uh, on the track, and tuning is really not the issue I was worried about. Something stupid like fails, like a freaking differential or something. So, what the hell? 